setting model to use. In the demo, we'll go over using two different types. So we go over using a open source model with modern embed base or modern bird base, and then we'll go over using one with OpenAI. But there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different models out there. There's closed source models from OpenAI. They have a whole bunch. There's Cohere models. Um, and there's so many different open source models that it gets really, really overwhelming when you try to figure out which one to choose. So how do you pick? There's two main things that you should think about here. The first one is data performance. And there's several subcategories here where you need to correspond it to your actual use case that you're building. So the first one is language specificity. Are you using this on purely English data? Are you using this for multimodal data? Are you using this for code? Do you need a really large context window? That all falls under language specificity. The second one is domain specificity. Are you using this on sort of general data or do you have a specific domain like medical, legal, e-commerce, um, where you need specific performance tailored towards that? Third one is, does it actually work? Um, so certain use cases will require a higher amount of accuracy than other use cases. Or maybe you care more about um, accuracy on certain things than others. Um, so you need to figure out how it works in general um, and also how it works in your own data. So that's where benchmarking and comparison comes in. The second side of things is infrastructure. So as much as we would like it to be, building machine learning applications is not free. Um, and so this is where you need to think about inference costs. So what is it going to cost to store and interact with your model? Um, bigger models will cost more here. Smaller models will cost less. Storage costs. So when you actually create your vector embeddings, they can be different dimensions. Um, and when you're storing those vector embeddings, larger amounts of or larger dimensions will cost more for storage. And the third one is the latency and throughput. So if you need a higher amount of latency, if you're doing more queries, if you need it to be faster, um, then you're going to need more infrastructure. So those are the kind of two sides of what you need to consider when you're choosing an embedding model. The MTEB leaderboard is a great place to sort of explore open source options and also explore all the different sort of tuning modules you can use and look at when you're choosing a model. So um, I actually just went on this site today and it looks a lot different than what it did when I made this presentation a couple days ago. So.